Welcome back to the cruise with Esther. My name is Esther Aguavoin and I hope you are doing great. So um, before you can actually get a driver's license of any kind in the United States, you need to pass the relevant knowledge and drive test to show that you actually understand the rules of the road and you are comfortable driving the ve vehicle that the license will actually allow you to drive. So in this video today, I'm going to share tips on how you can pass your knowledge test the first time. So for those of us immigrants who already knew how to drive perfectly in our home country before moving um, to the United States, you still need to go through the process of writing the knowledge test. So you have to also bear in mind that the driving rules actually differs from one country to another and also some of the car terms that are used are different you know not even in just pronunciations but in the words actually like in nigeria we say reverse the car whereas in the us it's called backup um another one is we say boots in nigeria whereas here it's called trunk i'm using nigeria because i mean i'm from nigeria so another popular one is i want to buy fuel or petrol <laughs> in the us it's called gas so you know these are things you guys i mean you would definitely need to learn these things when you get to the us so when they tell you back up the car you already know what they are referring to or i'm going to buy gas you know <laughs> it's not gas for cooking it's gas for your car so now um moving on to my tips my first tip to passing your knowledge test is to practice or read your state driver's handbook. You can get the soft copy, um, soft copy from your state um, DMV website. DMV means Department of Motor Vehicles. Or you can also go to a DMV field office to get a hard copy of the handbook. Because I know there are people who prefer to read through a device, that is the digital um, version, of a book and some also like to read the um, physical printed version of a book so whichever one is your preference the DMV have them available for you so you need to read this book from start to finish at least three times read the handbook at least three times because it contains all the information you need to pass your test no question will be asked outside this book. Do you know that even if you miss a question and you go to a field officer, oh, look, okay, these are the questions you filled, the field officer or the field office employee can tell you the page to find the correct answer to that question. So that actually tells you that all the test questions that are given are taken from that handbook. So that's my first tip. The second tip for passing the knowledge test to increase your chances of actually passing this test, there are sample um, driver's license knowledge tests on your state DMV's um, website. So depending on where you, where you are in the US, it can be very, very helpful to see sample test questions to give you an idea of how these questions are being set up. So you can practice, um, you can also practice apart from, you know, the test um, sample questions from DMV website. You can practice using some applications or some apps like the DMV permits practice test genie. We have the DMV um, written test 2024 test and also um, Zootobi permits practice test. So you can use these applications just to, you know, also speed up your um, the way you answer the questions and also give you some insight on how these questions are being set up. Actually, some of these questions from these applications are in, <laughs> usually comes out on that practice day. I mean, on your test day. So make sure that you try to practice using those applications. At least that would make it easier for you to get yourself familiarized with how these questions are being set up by DMV. So next is my third tip. And this one... <laughs> You can't go wrong with it. Please do not be nervous. You need to stay calm and confident right before and during the test. You have to make sure that you rest very well. In fact, I know what I'm saying. <laughs> you need to make sure your body is well rested before your exam. So you don't end up staring at your screen. You know when you are tense, you'll just be there like... Your, your head will just go blank. So in order to avoid that, 
you have to see this test as one of the tests that you usually is you know just close your eyes and imagine a positive outcome i know that feeling of wanting not to fail then you get tensed up without even knowing and um, i can assure you that the questions are not difficult they are not rocket science at all this is something you can pass very very easily if you follow my tips <laughs> so the fourth tip that i have make sure that you arrive early at least 20 to 30 minutes before your scheduled time to give you room to process your paperwork and also have time to relax before you go for your exam you know you don't want to go in i mean last minute and they're rushing and eventually you start getting yourself confused maybe there's something missing or there's something they're asking that you don't have you want to give yourself time before your test just in case something extra comes up so the next one which is my fifth tip make sure you read the questions thoroughly so that you can fully understand it and also review your answers before answering because the questions or the answers sorry might look very very similar but of course only one is the right answer so you sometimes also have to visualize what they are talking about or what the question is about to get a better understanding of the question so you know what to select as your answer so make sure you settle down with the questions and you know before you answer <laughs> any of any question so this brings me to my last and most important tip make sure you follow the first tip <laughs> very 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 important read the handbook that is your surest way of passing the knowledge tests so guys if you are heard that people always fail the test on the first try you are not wrong but you know that is also not always true not everyone fails the first time you can be among those who pass on their first try with these tips that i have given and please let us know in the comment section if you passed your exam or your knowledge test for the first time what tips did you use mentioned in this video or if i didn't mention it please also let us know in the comment section below so that it will help those who are um, ready to write their knowledge test for the first time so if this video has been helpful please give it a thumbs up share with those who you think might need it and also support this channel by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell because i am here to give you tips on how to navigate your way easily in the united states so guys stay charming stay fabulous Stay healthy and stay blessed. See you next video. Bye.